Peggy 16. Combat in The Last Remnant is rich and rewarding and will put your tactical decision making to the test. We're here today to make sure you get the most out of it by covering the basics. First things first, unlike most turn-based JRPGs, you don't command individual units in The Last Remnant. Instead, you will issue orders to unions or small squads of units on a larger battlefield. These unions can be customized with different members, formations, and more. Take advantage of this to survive the harsh tides of war. Combat in The Last Remnant revolves around a concept called deadlock. When two unions are in deadlock, they're locked into combat with each other until only one union is left. Switching targets out of deadlock will often result in a penalty, so be careful to only break deadlock when you absolutely must. If another enemy union attacks you while you're in deadlock, this results in a flank attack and you'll suffer extra damage. Now we'll explain the general flow of combat by looking at an actual battle. Pay attention to the battle map here in the top right. This will show you the locations of both friendly and enemy unions on the battlefield. You'll want to position yourself to both obliterate the enemy and to avoid surprises and counterattacks. Also pay attention to the bar at the top of the screen. This is the morale bar and it's extremely important. Basically, the more blue on the bar, the more damage you deal and the less damage you receive. Just don't let it get low or it'll be the other way around. Morale raises and lowers depending on the performances of both sides in a battle. Here, we are surrounded by two enemy unions on each side. If we can clear the enemies on one side quickly, then we can avoid being flanked. Okay, we've been intercepted. An interception occurs when an enemy union interrupts us on our way to attack another union, forcing us into deadlock. Notice the hit to our morale when this happens. Now these button prompts are what's called a critical trigger. Press the button on time to deal more damage and increase your morale. One union down, three more to go. Looks like we got an interference, which is the same as an interception, but when the player interrupts the enemy instead. Let's show them who's boss here. Now look at our morale increase. Good thing we cleared deadlock so fast, as those unions in the back have made their way around and would have flanked us, but now we're ready for them. Looks like all unions are in deadlock. Remember, switching targets while in deadlock will open you up to a punishing attack from the enemy. Now let's finish what we started. Oops, looks like we missed a critical trigger. If you're having trouble with the timing, you can set them to automatically trigger at any time. Time for one final blow and victory is ours. And that was an example of the basic flow of battle. Once you've mastered the basics, there are many more advanced strategies for you to discover. In time, you'll become a true master of the battlefield. Test your skills with The Last Remnant Remastered, available now worldwide.